So we launch our great AI agents only to find out that this doesn't work. One solution is that we could assign specific roles to each agent and limit its capabilities. So instead of allowing everything to the agent, we could give it access to specific roles and other agents. Let's take a deep dive into this thought. So I would like to introduce you to Invicta.io in which you can build your first AI workforce. So instead of hiring people, you can hire or you can build AI. So in this example, we can see that we can instruct the manager AI. Have we been in contact with Wellness Corporation? And this manager AI is going to retrieve the knowledge base. It is going to look up the customer here from the Google Drive. It's going to go to Notion and find the max customer report Feb 2024 and then give you the reply. You could ask a different agent, for example, at customer support AI and please reply to the customer queries in Zendesk for me. And then it's going to go to the Zendesk automation and it is going to note that and it will create a reply in auto mode. So that's the operation of the customer support AI. We can see we can create different agents now one of the failures of the agents that we see is that we give it too much freedom. Every agent can use sub agents or other agents to do the work. So for example, we have customer support agent, we have RFP manager, we have the operations manager and we have the sales rep. So each AI agent is trained for a specific job and we want that agent to focus on that particular work only. So this gives you a more control and an exact reply and the kind of response that you are that you're looking for in your chatbots or applications and it has the memory improvement features. So for example here we can this agent we can ask the AI agent that this file contains the compliance policy and it is important that we need to adhere to this guidelines that is mentioned in the PDF file then the AI agents is going to reply that I'll make sure to follow it which means that it has ingested it and kept it in its memory. Other features is that the data is always sync because we are in sync with our Notion, with our Google Drive, with our Hub, HubSpot and other tools coming very soon. So we are in constant sync with your data. We have the option of going autopilot or putting in a check. So for example, we can ask the agent to write a mail and send it automatically or write a mail and keep it ready so that we can verify and check it and then send it. We can analyze our agents as well. So on this side, we can see that we have different agents working together, complete the entire workflow and automation. Let us deep dive into how to actually use this. So before you go into sign in and check up everything, we have these plans here. You can go ahead to my description, click on the link on the description and check out Invicta.ai. But now let's go and see how it is done. So I go to sign in with my account and I'm going to sign in with my account. So continue with Google. I'm going to go with prompt engineer mail and let's wait okay we are greeted with this page so if i explain briefly these are the different ai agents that we have that i have worked with we can explore different agents these are the threads of messages that i have conversation with this agent down below we have the account here if you click on this mail we have the profile analytics spreadsheet mode integration workspaces api keys manage workspaces settings and themes so if I go to my profile, I can see a list of agents that I have worked with. Also, if you go to explore AI agents, you can see the list of agents which Invicta AI has prepared. So these are the agents and which the community has shared. So these are the agents that the community has prepared and it's ready for uh, use. So I'm going to go to Invicta.ai and for example, let's and let's say the sales email here so I clone this sales email here and 
this is the sales email copy ai agent it's using gpt 3.5 we have other models here as well so gpt 4.0 gpt 4 turbo cloud 3 mistral large cloud 2.1 gpt 3.5 mistral small cloud instant then you can go to this location which host your knowledge base so if we click here we can upload your pdf csv text doc and docs file so i've uploaded a few files here we can add links to the url and this will be added to your knowledge base you can do the integrations of integrating notion integrating google drive integrating hubspot for example let me show you how to integrate google drive just click it here it's already been linked okay so once we link and have uploaded the uh, files in the knowledge base we can enable for this specific agent we can enable the files that we want to be used as knowledge base for this agent next we have this uh, sharing the ai here and you can go to the info here so on the info if i go and go to the edit button here i can see that i can change a few things so on the name we have this name of the agent here this is a system message so you are an expert salesperson with decades of sales and marketing experience i wanted to generate a cool and a casual outbound sales email for a customer information and product information okay and then we have the knowledge base here so we can ask it to use this for example this price estimate knowledge here and that's done we can put in capabilities so in the form of capabilities we are putting uh, the web browsing here we can also send email via gmail so we can allow this capability as well so these are the tools next we can select the ai teammates so these are the other ai agents it can collaborate with of course we are going to see uh, a detailed example later then we have uh, the visibility here that we can see the triggers so if we receive a gmail this will trigger this agent we can sort set that sort of an of an uh, automation as well so in the advanced settings we can see that we have this preferred llm then we have the description here and the welcome message here and conversation starters okay we can make this open source or closed source we have the options of putting in variables which will be dynamically added to the ai system messages we can add in variables as well we have these parameters for controlling the llm temperature creativity top p then we have the penalty we have the presence penalty and we can update the agent to update with any new information that you have done so just update the ai agent here then you can go to start chat so this is me going and chatting with one agent here the sales email copy agent and uh, hi input your customer information product details so customer information let's say customer name is prompt and uh, product details product is let's say a chatbot okay let's see how it is able to make this so it is able to access the knowledge base here so it is able to access my knowledge base which is a price estimate and milestone for account and ai chatbot and you can see the subject here we can see the key features and if you're interested in exploring our chatbot solution you can amplify your operations feel free to reach out to prompt engineer and discuss how we can collaborate to bring your consultant bot ai to life so that is pretty cool this is the agent the customer this is the sales uh, email copy agent and this is one agent which performed a particular task now let us shift the gear and see how different agents can collaborate so i've already made a case uh, an agent known as chat ai prompt so this agent you can see this is the name of the agent and i'm a chat ai called baby bora so that's the name of the agent your personalized ai assistant next we can select the different uh, language that we wanted to use but i'm going to show you the characteristics of this model first so down here we can see that uh, this agent here can access four other agents so if i just zoom it you can see we have the email summarizer this is another agent we have the hustle gpt prompt we have the customer support prompt 
uh, which is an another agent and we have the course creator agent so let's look at each of this agent but before that let's look at the chat ai agent itself so i go on edit and we can see this is the name of the agent this is the system message and the knowledge base that we are putting forward is we are giving it nothing as of now because it is going to ask the other agents to work for it we are putting in wikipedia search as tools uh, the web browsing duckduckgo and send email via gmail okay the teammates being course creator hustle gpt and the email summarizer so these are other agents then rest is okay we can just save this and start chatting with that so we update the agent and start chatting with this agent but before we chat with this agent if we remember we had these three uh, the four agents so let's look at those as well so let's look at the email summarizer prompt so we go on to my account here go to my profile and go to the email summarizer prompt so I open it on a new so I open this email summarizer prompt we can see that it is this is connected to the main uh, the the main AI agent and this works under the instruction from the main AI agent the chat AI agent so the capabilities that it has is uh, that the web browsing and nothing else okay so email summarizer this will summarize the email customer support uh, prompt this is another agent we can see that it has capabilities of DuckDuckGo web browsing and if we head over to the edit and see the customer support agent and look at the capabilities that it has so we have given it access to this price estimate of ours and then it's going to fetch data so on the knowledge base we have the details of the price estimate here we go back and look at the hustle GPT prompt which is another agent so if we go to info and we can see that it is linked to the chat AI prompt here and I can go and click on edit then you can see that this is an agent which uh, let's say you have budget so we put this budget here a variable and your only goal is to turn that into as much money as possible so this has the web browsing and it's connected to none it doesn't order any other agents so we just update this agent and we have this hustle gpt prompt another one was the course creator prompt agent this is going to write a step-by-step -step course on any topic that you give so if you look at the characteristics here it's connected to the main chat AI prompt and then it's connected if you go to the edit we can see that these are the properties that we have used to make this okay so let me head over to the original chat AI underscore prompt agent and if you remind yourself we had these four agents with us now what you can do is we have the email summarizer we have the hustle GPT the customer support and the course creator what you can do now is that let's say I want to write an email so write an email to let's say so write an email to prompt engineer asking to collaborate on building a chatbot the email has been sent successfully we can see that this is the email and if you head over to my email we can see that we got a mail from this email id and we see this content so how did you set up the uh, gmail here so if you go ahead so after we go to the integration we can see this where we can integrate the gmail so this is already connected if you want to connect with zendesk you just connect and log in with your account we have slack integration google drive and hubspot so I've connected with my Gmail and Google Drive as of now. So let's head back to chat AI prompt and do some more fun examples. So let's do this. Uh, so please design a course for using Flask API. This is our main agent. It should communicate with the other agent who is an expert in designing a course. As you can see here. So it was able to 
so it was able to design this course you can see it, it, it is able to access the course creator prompt which is another agent and we can see this is a success so we have this you know course content outline course outlines and you can see we have asked it to in the instruction we have set it to put it no more than six modules so it is able to give me six modules here and then it is done so now what you can do this uh, now now what you can do is that we can can you send okay can you send this to prompt in junior 48 can you send this to this gmail so email sent successfully we can see that we have received this email here okay the next thing what i can do is memories we can set up memories as well so if i say what is my name and uh, okay this is just a random name my name is oliver okay so once i say my name is oliver we can add this as memory so you can say remember this so for the next time it's going to remember this and this will be available in the knowledge base here i ask what is my name again and it should be able to extract oliver so in this fashion you can add in knowledge base as well so your short term and the long term memories are stored in the knowledge base the knowledge base has the files that you have uploaded or the long term memories that you require that you need it to remember for example the name your hobby your profession so let's look at another example in this case itself uh, where we are using chat ai underscore prompt okay let us look at the customer support so we can ask customer support is uh, give me a summary of the knowledge base so we have the knowledge base send this as email to prompt engineer 48 it's sending the mail and you can see that this has been mailed if i go to my mail so that is pretty cool if you want to check this out more i'll go ahead to the link in the description and find out more details i'm going to bring out another video on another use cases and more complicated agents that you can use for daily workflow but yeah i have started using the email feature and this is amazing check out the other videos where i'm gonna bring out more about invicta ai until then watch out this next video thanks